90 Day Fiancé is scripted and TBH, we feel betrayed. 90 Day Fakery, TLC's hit reality show, 90 Day Fiancé, revolves around couples who meet abroad, fall in love and have to decide whether or not their relationship is worth pursuing beyond the border. Unfortunately for fans, it may not be as real as previously thought. David Tuberosi's bestie, Christy Amon, and his wife, Nikki Cooper, recently chowed down on KFC and spilled the tea about the hit show. Well, absolutely part of it is, no question, Chris said in regards to the show being scripted. Some of it is real and then teased with and added to subtracted from. Nikki added, I wouldn't say that there's a written script that's like, hey, read this line read this line. But there are times where there are different people or producers that come up to you and say, oh, I think it would be cool if you do this, or I think you should say this. Arguably one of the most cringeworthy scenes in franchise history occurred when Chris suggested that David's fiance, Annie, give him massages as a way to compensate for Chris offering the couple a place to stay. In the scene, Chris's pregnant wife, Nikki, looked speechless as Chris suggested the proposition. Previously, Nikki opened up about what really went down. Yes, the awkward scene of Chris asking for a massage was scripted, Nikki revealed on Facebook last year. The producer asked him to say it and Chris had to say it more than once because it didn't come off as natural. We were fed our lines while sitting at the table, which is why no one reacted. We all knew what to expect. She added, I'm a very outspoken person you'd be a fool to think I just sat there and, allowed, my husband to disrespect me, Annie, and our marriage. It's important to note that she is not under contract with TLC or Sharp Entertainment, so she is free to say whatever she likes. Chris chimed into the conversation as well and defended his wife. There isn't any other excuse than stupidity, he said. The first scene the original scene I never asked for massage. Not until Adrienne the director encouraged me to say it in front of the whole cast and crew that I let a little peer pressure set in. Once I knew it was an open request, I didn't have time to think, which in hindsight I obviously didn't think at all. I wanted to be a team player and just went with it. Afterward I even told Nikki, I never felt comfortable saying that. But it was too late then. I was naive to think that since I wasn't a real cast member that I wouldn't be singled out. I will own up to my mistake. But as I have said before, we have been nothing but respectful and helpful to Annie. Vale, we feel betrayed.